Hi, welcome to this edition of Inside DCPS. I'm Shelley Hammonds, and today with us we have Jana Bryant. She is our district's math specialist. She recently has been recognized by the Kentucky Council of Teachers of Mathematics as a recipient of the 2017 Ann Booth Mathematics Education Service and Achievement Award. Congratulations, Jana. Thank you very much. Before we explain that award, though, can you tell us about you and what is your role in our district? Um, so I'm the math instructional coach, and what I hope to do is make an impact um, on the mathematics teaching that occurs in um, our schools, um, K to 12, and um, also just help support teachers um, and students and whatever they need to be successful in making sense of mathematics. So what background do you have before you came to Davis County in this role? So I started my career at Davis County Middle School. And then when College View opened, I transferred there. After that, um, our family has moved. And so I've taught mathematics um, in Massachusetts, North Carolina, Florida, and then have most recently come back to Kentucky. So I taught um, math and physics um, most recently over at Davis County High School before I became the math instructional coach. So what, what makes you appreciate Davis County compared to all the other places you've been? Well, one of the things that I've always talked about with Davis County is um, education is important and we have a lot of community support, family support, and just support in terms of the school system to do everything we can um, to support students in their success. One of the things I've also noticed is we're very serious about the intentionality of supporting teachers and increasing their professional learning. Um, to be the best they can be and so they can grow and just become leaders in terms of their classroom, helping give feedback to students and um, it's a real honor um, to be able to come back home. So let's talk about this amazing award you've recently received. What supports helped you get to that spot? Well, um, several years ago I had the opportunity to become um, a Kentucky Hope Street Fellow and so I was part of that first cohort. And during my... Let me stop you real quick. Okay. What does it mean to be a Hope Street Fellow? Okay. Um, so uh, Terry Holiday knew that we had a new effectiveness system coming in Kentucky, and we also had new standards. And he wanted an opportunity for teachers to have voice. And being a fellow um, taught me and made me think about what organizations I'm a member of, and what type of leadership things do I do that help celebrate teacher voice and help um, educate us on um, policy and um, educational initiatives and drive decisions that um, we make for ourselves and perhaps policymakers for us. So, and then that's helped you along to receive this award? Well, so I examined what I was a member of, and um, I was not a member at the time when I first came back to the Council of Teachers of Mathematics, and, you know, mathematics and teaching is my passion. And so I um, uh, reached out to them and said, how can I get involved in your organization? Mm -hmm. uh, little did I know, I volunteered to be on the board of directors and help plan conferences. Um, and then during this time, I was also building a network of um, high quality teachers in um, English language arts area and mathematics so that we could support one another in um, offering uh, professional learning opportunities, helping present at conferences, um, and just helping get our voice heard um, in terms of supporting high standards. So what are some new projects or the next vision for Davis County in the field of mathematics? So one of the things that I'm most excited about is um, some of the new curriculum that we have um, coming um, in our schools that our students are experiencing. So there are some new um, open education uh, resource curriculums, um, such as Eureka Math. There's another new one coming called Illustrative Math. And it's giving um, teachers an opportunity to have cutting edge um, aligned resources that can help us focus on giving feedback to kids. And we get to spend less time trying to curate and create resources that can consume time. And that way we can have our time dedicated um, on students and on their learning. 
And so what role will you play with that Eureka um, initiative in the classrooms and in our schools? So one of the things that we've um, continued to look at is just supporting teachers, especially um, our newer teachers mm -hmm. um, to the field um, that grew up um, with the standards but have not been in a role where they're teaching to the standards. Mm -hmm. And so we all have to challenge ourselves as the students are getting more and more successful on making sense of mathematics that we go deeper in their learning and help them understand um, what it means and just that you know any opportunity that they want um, we can make happen. Well you're a valuable asset to our entire district K-12 and staff and congratulations on your award. Thank you. And thank you for tuning into this edition of Inside DCPS.